up guys welcome back to the channel you know it's your boy yeah back with another video working on a styler you know today I will I will be installing a strut brace or strut bar or whatever you call it out of those two things yeah I've been searching you know for a glance of strut brace I was even thinking of ordering a new ordering but you know the hand of God was touched upon me I got lucky and I got a new one and I got one for a glancer so I'm gonna show you guys right now yeah and give you guys a little brief explanation of what a strut bar is function is yeah guys here it is the strut brace is just right now just mounting i had to since i don't know maybe this it's hard to put on all the chassis i don't know this is an ep95 this is for ep91 but it's to my knowledge it's the same but some fitting fill with it i got it on i just needed to notch the, this hole, one here and one there. Put them on. Yeah, I know, I know. I should have painted this, but later down the line, I'll do it. I'll just cover behind all that with, um, uh, you know, with masking paper or anything. I got. I can get some easier work. I can mask uh, cover here, 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 but. The function, um, but I'm not too worried about this. I'm right now for function. I'm right now focus on function and over fashion. So yeah, um, give the, give you guys a brief explanation what a strut brace is. Since a uh, strut brace job is basically to stiffen up. Um, yeah. A strut base job is basically to stiffen off the chest, the front of the chassis, by connecting the two strut towers. Because when you're driving normally, this strut tower moves independently, and this moving independently, like, like this one move back and forth independently, like on its own. Same goes for this one. But what? A, but the strut brace connects both of them, so they move. They move simultaneously the same way left right left right and it also stiffens the front of the car so you can it eliminates um i think understeer and oversteer i don't remember quite don't quote me on that or don't quite remember it but it eliminates out of those things so yeah and for this car since it's all we drive and stuff the more stiffness in the front and also in the rear it has, the better. Yeah. So this is my filter and this is my box. You can see I was, you know, trying to fit it on, but it goes like, um, like, like this. It's just so it eliminates um, and dirt from trying to much prevent much dirt from getting there, and also it has the temperature sensor. So yeah, and basically it, that's what it does. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna test it today or tomorrow. Tomorrow is a holiday, so probably it's gonna be on Wednesday. I'm gonna give you guys um, a driving experience. In the turns, it's supposed to eliminate uh, under. Now I got. It. It's supposed to eliminate understeer. Oversteer is when you're drifting, so you promote more oversteer than understeer. So, for this, this is this start base eliminates the understeer when you when you're turning, when you're turning like for like for instance you turn um, right, and the car goes in the it understeers or, or, or understeer or whatever. Instead of going for where you you know turning, it goes the other direction. It's like on um, same for the other direction the start brace eliminate um not it not totally eliminates it but it uh reduces it so yeah so i'm gonna bolt this up same goes for the other oh yeah if you guys see this mallet i had to you know massage this side a little bit to get in them but it's on 
now try to um, boil it up so you guys can see the finished product yeah I got the regulator oh and you guys stay tuned for the end of this video I will show you guys a surprise that we got for the stylet yes a surprise stay uh, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys what we got what I got so yeah guys we are back so here is the finished product when the starbucks are is finally bolted to the chassis all time i dub i double check even triple check it so yeah this i think it's just something that hooks that goes through this harness also goes the map sensor just nothing I don't know. but uh, it's just yeah, right here this is going away yeah Oh, and for my um, DIY, I made this. I had to, you know, put it in like that. This is plastic, so it's no, it's no problem. It still functions. Still prevents a little uh, dirt from getting in. Um, this also, this child side is also bolted. I don't know why it's. Mm, like these boat i think maybe since i have other boat boat sh this uh, this strut i have on the uh, left side the bolts are different like a little bit you know uh shorter or and this see but yeah i don't know i don't know it it's both down it's tight and i was very concerned when i was um bolting this down that it was gonna uh, this edge here of the strut bar was gonna rest um you know put you know uh, put stress on it but um as you guys can see it clears nothing i well it was made for this but if it wasn't if it didn't fit now my other option was i don't know you know i'd uh, um massage this night but it clears no problem and yeah unfortunately uh i can't give you can't go drive it right now i got um and because i got a lot of stuff to do at home so yeah um but i think tomorrow is a holiday so and since it's the since the um covid and stuff here we gotta stay home and enjoy the holiday at home so it's gonna be wednesday when i go to work that i'm gonna give you guys a uh uh experience if i notice anything different especially since this is all we drive but um all we drive yeah so yeah. yeah if you guys still still here at this time of the video i'm gonna show you guys something i got for the starlet then it's gonna make the starlet you know what it what it what the starlet was before and you guys are gonna be really 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 interested if you stay if you guys, yeah, like I said, if you guys are st still here in the video, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm going to show you guys now. Let's, let's yeah. go. Yeah. You guys know, you guys already know what it is. You guys already know what it is, baby. <laughs> yeah. I got a TDO4. But this TDO4 is from a Mitsubishi, baby. Meaning, it's the same, same size, same size as a ct9 same size baby same size i've already i've already checked it there's no shaft play side no side to side shaft play no in and out shaft play and already we already as you can see the state is way you can see there's no you know residue of oil on the compressor housing no nothing on the in um the inner in the housing not even not even not even oh, not even at the not even at the exhaust housing so this is gonna spool up 
really 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 quick it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna spool up real quicker than the ct9 it's gonna be <laughs> um well I, let's see uh, i think this is it uh, 49 17 7 oh um i don't let's I don't know if I can. Yeah, they removed it. They, they removed it. Um, let's see if you can. You can see the. I don't know. I think. I think this is the trim. Or I can see if it's around here. But anywho, it's it has the same compressor housing as a CT9. Same exhaust. The only difference the exhaust in this one is a little. You know they home. It was it's a little bigger, you know. You know why? I like I like them big. Yeah, I like them big, baby. Yeah. So yeah, this is the new turbo for the stop for the all-wheel drive style. As you can see, this is it. This is easy. This is this is gonna be so easy. My friend and I, well, my friend and I, we got a flange for this, so we're gonna make. Uh, an adapter we're gonna use the exhaust that i had the gt20 the gt uh, installed on it we're gonna use it we're gonna modify it to put this on and we got flanges for this and this stuff and we and when i cut when i remove the flange from the the t25 flange from the automatic for i'm a, you know i don't i don't throw anything i don't well if you guys don't know i don't throw nothing away so i'm a uh keep it in, in in case i want to make an adapter like anyway but or i can just or i can just get a td a t and i can get a, a td4 from a, a subaru because they use the same flange flange so i can if this can clear the compressor and also it also if i go a td4 like my cousin got in on his glancer it still clears meaning it still clears yeah some people some people might say no you should no you should yeah, order a metaphor blah 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 get it done but no no we're not gonna do it because i have plenty 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 of stuff to make this work and you know my i have a style you know it's about making making it work so you don't especially in this time well, I could, but I don't. I just wanna you. I just wanna, you know, make anything. If I have it, I'll make it work. That's my that's my motto. That's how I do things, and that's how I'm gonna keep doing it until I can no more. I'm gonna make it work. Even here with the downpipe, see, just we're gonna use we're gonna use this flange too, and we gotta also. Oh, oh man! Ow! Oh, damn it! We got a, we, we even got ourselves we even got ourselves a downpipe, baby. You know, also it's gonna be custom, you know, to make it fit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and also I got uh the CT the CT9 back there. You know, I'm probably gonna also also gonna get all our CT9 turbo new in case this i can keep switching in, in case this in case when this gives i have a cd9 just swap it put it on my goal for this style is just to keep it you know daily driven but with boost like i can daily drive it with boost with ac and stuff but still have boost oh yeah and also but but you guys are gonna see i i think i got I'm gonna make this work like for the um, drain it's, it uses the same as the CT9 but the CT9 has the drain and fuel are, are at the same places so I'm about I'm a uh, you know uh, tampo or whatever um, I'm gonna close it off the, the feet the part of the feet and make it work so yeah you know also we gotta clock it but yeah this is a very, 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 very big news, and I'm so, so excited. 
this has no shaft play this has no in and out no side i'm so 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 excited so excited man so i'm so 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 excited man the style is i'm gonna take my time uh and do it little by little i you know all this thing I mean, i'm not gonna boost it but i'm I'm going to boost it, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to drive it normally. Well, I'm not going to drive it hard, just normally, just boot, just two, three PSI, nothing too crazy until I save enough money to rebuild this motor, make it, um, get some pit, um, rods and piston combo, put it in and it can, so it can handle more PSI with, yeah. And the reason I'm also using the automatic yeah, because the manifold is going to be soft. So I don't have an exterior yet because I'm using Civic. So I'm going to block it off and drive it normally until I can get a 38mm ex external wastegate. The re um, I think I'm gonna get the same as a, either Imusa. It's it's the price is reasonable, and I'm gonna put uh, the softest, soft, softest spring in it. Uh, I think the the softest is I think five or four and a half or six. I don't know. I'm gonna put the softest in it so it can. So yeah, I'll put the softest, softest spring in it so I can keep it if it. To boost it to make it boost around four or five four point five to five or six psi that's it uh, until i round up the money but yeah man i don't know i don't know man i w i just went to the mechanic we just you know sit and talk and he you know i got lucky and yeah <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we, this weekend we can just at least you know start feeling something, you know make make something happen for the starlet. But I'm not in a rush because this is, there's a lot of stuff more I can do for the starlet. And oh yeah, do you guys remember that the the bounciness, the stiffness? Yeah, um, I forgot. I literally forgot. There's a damp the rub um hard rubber damper in between the struts so i got i uh, so i took them off um uh, uh from the the other struts i have i put them in and it's more uh manageable right now but the mechanic has told me some other you know some thicker thicker i mean you know thick you know you know we like them thick yeah, you know, I you know, you know we love it. Okay. But um, jokes, jokes aside, yeah, it's thicker, damper, meaning, meaning that it's more stiff. Well, not stiff that you can, it's unbearable, but stiff enough it can hold that you can drive the car. Right now, as the car drives, it's I'm more, it's more manageable for me. So the place that I went to go ask for it, uh, the my mechanic, my, the mechanic that I went to, it says you need to buy four, but it has to be the black one, the front. So just get four, just get four front dampers, you know, the thick ones, and put them in. So yeah, but the but the place says in either in two weeks he will get. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna wait two weeks, and in those two weeks I'll be you know trying to do more things about on the starlet and the civic to get more contacts for you guys so, yeah you know yeah it's all it's all about content it's all about content in this place so yeah but as the as the car drive now i can't complain and as you guys just saw it's gonna be some plans yeah but that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, bell, and tell your friends, tell everybody, you know, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys want to see more videos, you know, let me know. Yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.
Ah. 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 Ah.